Grace the Frugal Chef. Let's make some spaghetti sauce with chicken today. This recipe is easy, but it does require some prepping because it has a few very nice fresh ingredients. It's worth it. It's a good change from the beef and the pork, and it's delicious. So, let me show you how to do it. Okay, for this recipe, we're gonna need a whole chicken, which you're gonna have to cut into pieces. I cut this one into 10 pieces now. If you don't wanna do that, you know, and you just wanna go out and buy uh, legs and thighs or whatever, go ahead, okay? I happen to have a, whole, have a whole chicken, so I cut it up into 10 pieces, okay? We're also gonna need one can of 15 ounces of tomato sauce, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, uh, this is a medium carrot, which I minced. Uh, this is two celery stalks that I minced. This is four garlic cloves, which I minced. If you've been watching my videos, you probably know by now that I love garlic. I put it out in everything I can. Um, this is a medium white onion, which I chopped. And this, this is a 12 sliced mushrooms, okay, right here. I have one tablespoon of dried basil, and I have one and a half tablespoons of dried oregano and two bay leaves. Naturally, I'm gonna use salt and pepper, and I'm gonna use some olive oil. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna heat our pan, and we're gonna add some olive oil to it, and let that heat, okay? Oh, about two, maybe three tablespoons of oil. Then we're gonna go ahead and salt our, our and se well season our chicken with salt and pepper generously. So nice amounts of salt. And pepper. Okay. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in the pan and I'm gonna brown them evenly on all sides. Once they're brown, I'm gonna remove them from the pan and then we'll cook the vegetables, okay? So, go ahead and salt these inside the, pot, uh, the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and start browning the chicken. And I'm gonna season the other side in there, so. Salt and pepper. Okay, so I'll be uh, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and and brown all this chicken, and I'll come back so we can uh, start cooking the vegetables. Okay, now that our chicken is nice and brown, I'm gonna go ahead and take the excess fat out of my pan. I want to leave some oil in there, but not that much. Okay, well, here about two tablespoons you want for your vegetables. Now, we have a bunch of little skin that brown, you know, little brown pieces. We don't want to get rid of that. We'll, we'll go deglazing that. Okay. So, we're going to add our onion. Okay. And just scrape the bottom of your pan. I mean, that, that those little brown bits are delicious. They give your food a nice, nice amount of flavor. So... We're gonna cook our onion for a little bit while we're scraping the bottom of our pan. Of course, if, if you burn the skin, which I hope you didn't, then please skip this uh, <laughs> skip this step, okay? Just clean the pan, put new oil in there, and, and start cooking your, your, your vegetables. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add See, I still have a little bit to scrape. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add my, my uh, celery, my carrot. Oops, oh, it just got slapped by a carrot. And my garlic. Now I'm gonna let this cook for a good five minutes before um, I put anything else in here, okay? So let's let this cook and I'll be back 
in five minutes. Okay, so these vegetables have been cooking for five minutes. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add my mushrooms, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and add my basil and my oregano. Kind of crush it in there. Oh, this smells good, good, good. Okay, we'll mix this. All I want is for these spices to, you know, start, I want to start smelling the spices for a few minutes. That's it. That's all. You know, I don't want to cook this for too, too long. Um, okay. And now I'm going to add my tomato sauce. And you know what? I'm also going to add a can of water of this, okay, of the tomato sauce. So we'll add some water, uh, a can full of water uh, of the 15-ounce of the tomato sauce. That way we're not wasting the tomato sauce that stayed in there and our, our sauce is not going to be that thick. Okay, so now I'm going to add my crushed tomatoes. Oh, this is so good. It smells really good, guys. Really, really good. Okay. And I'm going to return my chicken to this. Put in my basil leaves, which of course we'll discard later on. Look at that. I have a little bit of basil on my plate here. So I'm just going to return the chicken to this. And I'm going to let this cook for about an hour. In the meantime, I'm going to cook my spaghetti. And then we'll have dinner. Yeah, this is very, very tasty. And I think you're going to like it. You know, you could also use this, serve this chicken with uh, polenta. It doesn't have to be with spaghetti. Uh, it has su such a nice sauce that, you know, it goes really nicely with polenta. Okay, there you have it. I'm going to just let this come to a boil. Once it boils, I'm going to cover it, and I'm going to simmer it for an hour, cook my spaghetti in the min meantime, and I'll see you guys in an hour. Okay, well, let's look at our spaghetti sauce here. It's been cooking for an hour, and I, I stirred it a couple times. Let's check this out. This is so ready. Look at this. This is beautiful. The chicken's all cooked. Look at this sauce. It's wonderful. It smells amazing. Oh yeah, this is good food. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, and serve this on some spaghetti. Move this pot here so we can plate this. I just turned off this uh, burner. I have a plate of spaghetti here, as you can see. And I'm going to go ahead and let's see, let's get this breast here. Not pretty. And it's pretty delicious too. <laughs> uh, don't forget that we have all these recipes at thefrugalchef.com. We got all kinds of recipes, all kinds of different food, all affordable, healthy, easy to make. Thefrugalchef.com. So now we're going to just sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on this. And there you go. Bon Appetit from thefrugalchef.com.